All right, so this is section 8.1, Precalculus uh, 20 course, and 8.1 is talking about solving systems of equations graphically. So I have a, a TI-83 calculator up here on the screen, and this is the question 4C that was asked about. Now, one of the important things that we need to understand here is that we cannot put this equation into the graphing calculator. If you're using some kind of graphing technology at home to do this question, you might be able to just type it in straight as it is and it'll graph it. Great. With the calculator and the ones that you're allowed to use for the exams, this TI-83, you first have to isolate for y. So you have to do that for both equations. It's no good if y is buried in, uh, you know, in the equation, or here or here. We have to separate, we have to isolate. So let's do that. For the first equation, it looks like this. I'm going to take the 16x to the other side. I'm going to take the x squared to the other side. They're both positive, so y is now by itself and I have a negative x squared over here, and I have a negative 16x over here, and I have this negative 59 that's still there. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is now the, uh, that's written in function form, where y is expressed explicitly in x, y is all by itself, okay? The other one, let's take x over here, and then we're gonna have to divide by negative two both everything. So it looks it kind of looks like this. Uh, negative 2y equals negative x plus 60. To get that x over there. Then we're going to divide everything by negative 2. So that's going to be positive y equals 1 over 2x. It's a negative divided by negative. And then also 60 divided by negative 2 is going to be minus 30. Okay? Everybody okay with that? So these are my two uh, equations. This one here, and the one underneath. Now, on the, on the exam, this last exam that we did, and this is a kind of a foreshadow for this exam coming up, you have to read the questions carefully. If it says solve by graphing, I don't, I don't need you to show me the algebra. Some of you wasted time by showing me the, <laughs> the algebraic method, which if you're confirming what you've done, that's fine, but some of you didn't do the graphing, some of you just did the algebra when I asked for the graphing method. So here we have to graph. And you're going to have to skip. First of all, you should show the equations that you're, you're plugging into the calculator. That's a good idea. And then you should sh sketch your graph as well. So let's work on this. So on your graphing calculator, you want to turn it on. You want to go to y equals. Make sure everything is um, uh, cleared off there. So hit clear if you have some kind of equation in there. So I'm going to type in this. Now remember, if this, this is a negative at the very beginning, that's this button down here, negative, not minus. Your calculator will not like you for that. So it's a negative x. Here's the squared button. Now it's a minus, because that's a minus now, that's inside the expression. 16x minus 59. Negative x squared minus 16x minus 59. The next one, let's type in this. Now, you can do 1 over 2, or you can do 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5x minus 30. So we're going to graph this, and the solution is the x value of the intercept, right? Because again, we have all these x's here. So the solution is going to be what is x. Well, actually, um, probably, uh, yeah, because we have y in there too, okay, and it's a system, you are going to uh, mention both coordinates of the point. If it's just an equation and it's only x, then you need x uh, values for your answer. But if it does have y in there like this one, so we will need the, the points of solutions, okay? So let's graph this and see what shows up. Okay. Now your screen may be a little bit off kilter like this. So you can always go to zoom and then standard there, six. Zoom six gets you a standard window and that might help. In this case, what am I finding? Okay, I'm finding this looks like the parabola, which is the x squared part. I do not see this line at all. Why do I not see this line? Can anyone tell me? Why do I not see it? Yeah? The y intercept is negative 30. Okay, very good. Look at the y intercept is negative 30. I'm only going down to negative 10 here. So the y intercept is way down here. And this is a, uh, it's a positive slope. So it's way down here. And it's, it's, it's like this. It's going up like this, but it's way off screen. So I'm going to hit window. I'm going to change my y minimum. Okay, I got to go below negative 30, don't I? So I'm going to go negative 45, let's say. See what happens there. There's my parabola, and oh, there's my line. Excellent. 
Now, do I have one solution here? Well, I see one solution. But notice that the parabola also extends way over here. So it looks like there might be a solution over here as well. Okay, so let's go to window again and let's make the x minimum. Let's, let's increase that minimum more in the negative direction. So let's make that like 35 or something. And then we should be able to see the parabola here and the line. Look at that. So we have two intersection points. Okay, two intersection points. So in solving a system, we do want the intersection points, okay, because we have y and x. There's two variables there. So how do we do that? Second function trace. That gets us to the calculate menu. Go down to number five. First curve, it'll say you hit yes. Second curve, yes. Uh, guess, sure, let's have it guess this intersection point. So hit enter one more time when the cursor is nearby. And x equals negative 14.5 and negative 37.25. Okay? So negative 14.5, negative 37.25. Okay, so there's one solution for x and y. Okay? And the other solution should come at the other intersection point. So let's do that quickly again. Function 5, enter, enter, and then I'm going to move that cursor over to say, hey calculator, please give me the intersection point over here. Enter one more time and negative 2, negative 31. Okay? So it looks like x should be equal to negative 14.5 and negative 2, and y, negative 37.25 and negative 31. So these are the, looks like those are the uh, solutions that you're looking for in 4C. So does that help? Does that help there? Okay. So if we had a different set of equations, like let's say this, this second equation was different, and we had a situation like this where they don't intersect, that means there are no solutions. There's no x, y coordinate that will fit on both graphs. So you would say no solution if this is what you found, okay? But that's not the case for this question. Okay, any other questions about that one?